Hey there, it's Jason here from One Hour Forex, and today is February 15th, 2012, and it's time to take a, wo uh, a, wo a quick look-see at the Mercury. Okay, yeah, learn how to talk, Jason. Alrighty then. Okay, um, anyway, this is our 7 o'clock candle right here, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Now we'll move this here to see if we had an entry right here, or was it too late? Let's go take a look. So we'll scroll back. Okay, so well, I gotta I always do this. I gotta put my entry line there, duh. Okay, our entry would have been right there, one pip as it turned red, right from the pin bar. Now let's go on to the 15. Okay. Yeah, just what I suspected. Um when it gave the entry, it was in the last 45 minutes. Of that candle, there was no trade. Therefore, there was no trade there, because the trade rule is you got it's got to happen in the first 45, in the first half an hour, first before 45 minutes. Like if you if you're looking at a trade with the last 20 minutes of the hour, eh, it could work, it could not work. Your best ones happen within the first 15 minutes. Your second best at, in the first 30 minutes, and your worst best in the last in the first 40 minutes or so. But in the remaining 15 minutes of the candle, at the quarter two of every candle, there is no trade if it triggers after that. Okay, let's go back to the one hour. Boo, 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 be do. Okay, so there was no trade on this one. Now on this one, well, we'll move the thing there quickly and go see. Yeah, this one uh, opened up here. Yeah, it would have came and turned red here. This is the eight o'clock candle. Now that was the three o'clock. There was nothing on the two o'clock. So basically, um, uh, there might have been a trade here. Let's see. Hold on, let me go back to the hour here again. Yeah, that's where the entry would have been. So basically, it's, it's ran up, came down. Yeah, it came down. Yeah, see, it didn't do nothing. Um, yeah, it closed right here. It closed that break even on this sucker. But yeah, it gave an entry within the first 15 minutes, and it didn't go anywhere, and it just went sideways, and it wasn't good. Okay. Let's go back to the hourly. Okay, I made that chart too small. Okay, so there was no trade on this sucker right here at the 8 o'clock. 7 o'clock, here's the 9 o'clock, here's the 4 o'clock. So basically we wanted to see a bigger wick and then we would have bought it up. But it didn't give us that, so there was no trade. So let's go down, look, here is our 8 o'clock candle right here. Um, as you can see, there was no trade on here because it didn't shoot up to the pivot or somewhere near there and then come back and turn red. It just did a little tiny wick, and down it went. For those of you who just jumped in on the momentum of the downtrend, well, you could have made some pips. You can see how easy it is to follow the, the hourly time frame once you get to know it after a while. Um, so anyway, here is our uh, 9 o'clock candle. Uh, there was no trade here. It was too close to S1 and 3100. And basically, our 10 o'clock candle, which is right here, I'm doing this video a little bit late today. Um, we would have liked to have seen it go up a few more pips, but you know, I would have sold it right here, 3084, just below this wick right here. And sure enough, it went right down to our S2 target. So that one, we could have had a trade there at about 10 o'clock. Definitely got 18 pips to the close if you held it. Um, you got your 27 pips out of it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the video for today on Wednesday, which is hump day. <laughs> hump, hump, hump. Okay, anyway, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Have a great day.